For more than five decades, a West Michigan man has been delivering mail on the streets of Grand Rapids and Wyoming. But today, he punched out for good. New at 6, 24 Hour News 8's Coco McAboy spoke with him and his co-workers during his final day on the job. After 52 years, it's hard for Tom Nauta to leave behind his job as a letter carrier. But what he says he'll miss the most is the co-workers and the friends he's met along the route. It's 7 o'clock and Tom Nauta is one of the first to arrive with the Wyoming Post Office. We're starting a half hour early, so, yeah. so you've got like 30 minutes of quiet. Yeah. I do. <laughs> First, what we do is uh, put the magazines in, in our case here. Monday's our hardest day. He's an inspiration when you look at him and how hard he's worked. Reliable. 52 years, um, never late, doesn't call in sick. And someone who doesn't look for attention. But today, all eyes were on him. Today's Tom Nauta's last day. Hey. Hey. It's not easy saying goodbye. He's been on the same route since 1989. Been a pleasure, sir, yeah. Well, thank you. You've done a great job. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. We've seen families and their kids raised and uh, from little ones to uh, they finally leave the house and, and others that have stayed and some of them have passed on. But the job takes a toll mentally. Sometimes your memory. Um, is not as sharp anymore. And, and physically. I've had a lot of winters and uh, uh, I'm getting kind of uh, arthritis in the fingers and the back. The number one spot won't be vacant for long. Well, I like it now. Now I'm going to be the number one carrier in the city, so that, that works out great for me. <laughs> While there's more emotion from his son, Kevin, a 20-year veteran yeah, himself. Emotion. I'm kind of fighting a tear. <laughs> I'm proud of him. I really am. But for Tom, it's time. Here I am, and here I go. <laughs> oh. Oh, I bet the neighbors love to see oh, him coming by, too. Yep. That's Coco McAboy reporting. Nauta says that he is thrilled to be retiring before having to go through another winter. <laughs> Can't blame him there. No. That's for sure.